Hello, my name is Jordy, support engineer at vibegames.com. I'm going to explain how to install a 5M server on a VPS from Vibe Games. First thing we need is a VPS server, of course, so let's order one. On our website, navigate to VPS servers in the top menu, then scroll down a little and choose a location. Next thing we need to do is pick the right package. In this example, we are going to run our 5M server on Windows. In this case, it's recommended to take a VPS with at least 4 cores and 8 gigabytes of RAM. However, how more players you have online, how more RAM and CPU power you might need, so please make sure you choose a package with enough resources to keep everything stable for your players. Once you have chosen the right package, please press the order button. Once we are on the order page, choose your billing cycle at step one. At the second step, you have the option to enable automatic backups for your server. It's always recommended to backup your data. In an event something happens with your data, you can always restore it. Then scroll down and choose a payment method. Vibe Games offers a lot of payment methods such as PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Last thing we will have to do is accept the terms of service and press the order button to start the payment process. Once the payment has been completed, it will take a few minutes before your server gets delivered. Once it's ready, you will see it in your Vibe Games dashboard. Now simply hover over your server and press Manage. On this page, you will find the billing details of your server, you can set up the DDoS protection, which we will skip for now, and easily go to the VPS control panel by clicking on the Open Control Panel button. Please click on the Open Control Panel button, and when we visit the control panel for the first time, it takes us to a setup page. Here we enter a name for our server and choose an operation system. We recommend to select Windows Server 2022. Once you have selected the OS, please scroll down and press the Install with Windows Server 2022 button. Then a pop-up will open and press the blue Install Now button. The server will now start its installation. This is going to take some time. Once it's ready, it will automatically redirect us to the server page where we can manage our server. Once we reach this page, please don't do anything yet. Wait for the email you'll receive from us that contains the IP address, username, and password. This can take a few minutes. If you don't receive this email after 10 minutes, please check your spam folder, else please contact our support team. This is what this email looks like. It contains the IP address, username, and password of your server. To connect to your VPS server, please search for Remote Desktop Connection in the Windows search bar. Please notice this name can be different based on your Windows language settings. In the computer field, you need to enter the IP address of your server that is listed in the email. Then simply press Connect. In the Username field, we enter Administrator. This is the default username. For the password, we need to open our email again and copy-paste the password into the password field. Please make sure to not copy any extra spaces on the beginning or end of the password. And to make it ourselves easier, check the Remember Me option, and then just press OK. If you get this yellow pop-up, just press Yes. Then it will start the remote desktop connection. Oh yeah, we are now logged into our server and we can begin setting up our 5M server. We will now have to download some files and install a few programs before we can set up our 5M server. We will link all downloads in the description of this video. The first program we are going to download is MariaDB. This will be our database server, which will store all the player and progress data. Just simply go to their website and download the latest version of MariaDB. Once the download is ready, we can open the installation program that we just downloaded. During the installation, just keep pressing Next until it will ask you to enter a password. In this example, we will use 1234 but I strongly recommend to use a stronger password yourself. And again, please keep pressing Next and install until you reach the page where you will click on Finish. We have now installed our database server. The next program we will install is WinRAR. We need WinRAR to extract the 5M artifact files later. Just go to the WinRAR website and download the latest 64-bit version of WinRAR. Then we will open the installer again that we just downloaded and complete the WinRAR installation. We have now installed WinRAR. Now we are going to create a new folder on the desktop of your VPS. Please call the folder, Server. Please open this folder and create two other folders. The first folder we will name Artifacts, and the second folder we will name Server Data. Now we want to open our web browser again, and into URL bar search for 5M Windows Artifacts. Go to the 5M website and download the latest Artifacts version.
The next thing we need to do is open the Server 7Z file that we just downloaded using WinRAR. Please select all files and drag them to the artifacts folder that we just created. Now open the artifacts folder and search for an executable called FX server. Open the FX server executable and wait for it to start. You will see that the web browser automatically will open the Teeks admin page now. Please click on link account. It will ask you to log in with your CFX account. If you don't have a CFX account yet, please register one. TX Admin will now ask us if we want to authorize the CFX account to log into TX Admin. We will just press continue here. Now enter a backup password for TX Admin and press create master account. We have entered the TX Admin setup page. In this example, we are going to install QB Core. Please press next. Please enter a name for your server now and press next again. For the deployment type, we are going to choose for popular recipes. Then click on QB Core Framework. Please notice that you could also choose ESX or another option. For the data location, we are going to change the path. Please press on Change Path. For the data location, we are going to change the path. Please press on Change Path and remove everything from TX data till the end. Then enter server data and press Save. Now press on the green Go to Recipe Deployer button. At step 1 of the Recipe Deployer, just press Next. Step 2 is an important step. We need a 5M license key to be able to start the server. Please go to the 5M Key Master. Then press Sign In. Now we need to create a new license. Please press the New Server option in the top menu. For the display name, enter any name you like. For the initial server IP address, enter the IP address of your VPS server. At the server type, please select VPS. When they ask which provider you are using, just enter Server or Google. And now click on the Generate button. We have now created our 5M license key. Please copy the license key and go back to the TX Admin page. Now we can paste our license key in TX Admin. The next step would be to open the database options. Remember the database password we configured? We need it now. In the database password field, please enter your database password. In this example, we used 1234. Then scroll down and press Run Recipe. Tex Admin will now start to install QB Core. This is going to take a while. Once this is done, you can press the Next button again and scroll down to click on the Save and Run Server button. Your 5M server is now successfully installed on our Vibe Games VPS. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our support. I hope this tutorial has helped you setting up your 5M server. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and follow our YouTube channel. Have a nice day.